my channel. Today we are going to be preparing chicken breasts. Breasts. <laughs> so uh, I have a recipe that everybody loves. Everybody is always, always asking me about this recipe. So I'm going to make it tonight for my family and I decided to film it for you guys and share with you. Okay, this is simple, quick, and very tasteful. Okay, all right. Step one is to cut the chicken breast. You need to cut it really thin, guys. Thin pieces, okay, like this. All right. Go ahead and open it. It can be long. Okay. All right, that's about the size that we want. Not to, not to, not too big. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm done cutting the meat. You see, we have thin uh, pieces. So in a large bowl, I'm going to add the meat. I am going to add a little bit of salt and a lime juice. I have a video up on my channel uh, about this showing you how I, I clean uh, meats. Like I said, it applies to all uh, type of meat, okay? This part is optional, guys. You don't have to do this if you don't wash or clean uh, meats, but I do. But this, uh, this is optional. Okay. I am going to pour cold water on it and then I will see you on step two. All right. Yay. All right, guys, I'm back with the ingredients that we're going to need. We're going to need the chicken, okay, uh, a tablespoon of soy sauce, I'm going to add a little bit of Haitian apis, this is optional, okay, if you don't have Haitian apis, you can skip that, I'm going to add just uh, a teaspoon of uh, Dijon mustard, mix bell peppers, onions, one uh, lime juice. This is a Bolognese hot sauce, guys. This is awesome for the recipe. And I forgot to mention that the uh, the star for this recipe is uh, turmeric. Yeah, this is wonderful guys okay adding to the chicken you're gonna love that and then we need black pepper we need uh, the dry spice that i usually use smoked paprika and cayenne pepper 
all right and salt parsley fresh garlic fresh parsley and fresh garlic okay loves let me take you to the stove and show you how to prepare it all right guys for the cooking process we're gonna do we're gonna cook it in two <laughs> in two uh two steps ha! i got it in two steps okay uh this is uh very good for the, the size we're gonna add a little bit of oil a little bit not much yet about just this is a, a teaspoon of oil okay and uh, we are working on uh, a medium high heat okay so first of all we are going to add the garlic this is three uh, large garlic garlic cloves okay garlic is amazing guys okay we are going to add the lime juice Okay, we added the lime juice and then we are going to add uh, pepper, black pepper. About a teaspoon, not too much. Okay. Now I am going to add the Haitian apis. I have a video up on my channel about this. Okay. For me, I add a, a tablespoon, but if you don't have Haitian apis, you can skip that. It smells so good. The smell of the garlic and the, the lime, the pepper. Now I added the, the air piece, guys. You're gonna love that. What I'm trying to do, you see, we didn't add any water. I need to get the juice of the chicken out. Okay? That's what I want. Now I'm going to add just a little bit, a teaspoon of uh, Dijon mustard. You 
sin the juice is coming up and now we are going to add a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce The smell is amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, guys. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Not too much because we will be adding other ingredients that are a little bit salty okay just two two uh, two times and we are going to cover and let it simmer for about five let's say seven minutes okay seven minutes on on uh, on medium to high heat because we just need the juice out of the chicken okay all right guys it has been uh, five minutes I am going to check the chicken right now yeah the water is completely evaporated okay now I am going to remove the chicken from the pan okay you see it's already uh, brown on the side we are going to completely remove it Okay, so next we are going to add another tablespoon of, uh, not a tablespoon, but about a teaspoon of oil. Okay, you see, not much at all. And then to the oil, I am going to add a tablespoon of butter. Okay? Not too, too full, a tablespoon of butter. When it's completely melted, okay, and we want it to be hot, we are bringing the chicken back to the to the to the pan, okay. Let me tell you, if you already ate this, you know what I'm talking about, but this is 
amazing guys this is a sin because it's too good you know <laughs> okay we're gonna turn the, the heat back to uh, too high because we need the we need the, uh, the chicken to brown a little bit let me test it for you but it's hot I don't want to burn myself This is a bolognese sauce that you can buy pre-made in the jar at the supermarket. Okay. And after that, I am going to add Uh, what is this? <laughs> a quarter of a, a teaspoon of uh, paprika, small paprika, because we need, uh, we need the color. A quarter of a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper. If you don't eat spicy, you can skip this part. Okay. And now we're gonna add the star. For the star, we're gonna put half of a teaspoon, come on, come, of uh, turmeric. Okay? Half of a teaspoon, guys. That's a half of a tablespoon, sorry. Okay? Trust me, this will make you happy. You see that? Do you see that? The chicken is not dry. Okay? It's really juicy and tasteful. So now, I am going to add half of a tablespoon of my dry uh, spices, okay? I don't know if you, you have noticed that I have uh, some hot water on the stove. Whenever I'm cooking, I'm making sauce or, or I will be adding added water. I don't add cold water, guys. Okay? My mom taught me that. And it's amazing. So add a little bit of water to release all the spices. Okay? Look at that. Do you see that? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Do you see that? This is amazing. ahead and add uh, the parsley right before you add the, the, the peppers and the, the onions okay 
let the parsley cook just a little bit before you add the rest of uh, the ingredients. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. What the hot water does, it doesn't stop the cooking process, okay? When you add cold water to your food, it stops the cooking process and then we start. And we don't want that. We, we, we need the, 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 the chicken to keep cooking while adding the water. We don't need to stop the process, okay? That's what the hot water does for you in your in your pants okay so i'm gonna <laughs> hmm. oh lord guys hmm. i am telling you hmm. okay and go go ahead and add the, pe the mixed peppers, bell peppers, and the onion. Look at that. Look. Look. And right after adding, added the, the peppers and the onion, turn your, your heat off. Okay? Do you see that? So if <laughs> I already served you this uh, dish, that's how I, I make I make it. That's how I prepare it, guys. I know a lot of you are going to be happy about this video because you have been asking so much about this recipe. Okay, and you can serve it with salad, with fried plantains, with rice, white rice would be really good with this, okay? And then for tonight, I'm gonna serve it with uh, plantains and salad, okay? So I will be filming the plantain process as well, so uh, stay tuned for the plantain video. It's coming right after this one. Okay guys, I wanna thank you all for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. I really, really, really appreciate uh, your views. Okay guys, thank you very much. Have a great night.